Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. Who am I? Don't make me say it. Oh, but it's so much fun. No. They're yelling at you. I don't care. I'm your favorite Donna. You said it too fast. <laughs> I couldn't roll my eyes. Whiplash! <laughs> and today we're going to take you on a tour of our soda, our Funko Soda collection. As of now. Because it's bad. And we're fixing to do Soda Palooza 12. And guess what, guys? We need more no shelves! shelves. Yes, yeah, so we are ready to do Soda Palooza 12, but before we do, we want to take you on a tour of our current collection and why our jingle for Soda Palooza 12 makes sense. Because we do need more shelves. Like, it, I don't know where we're going to put these. Um, it's the getting next, out of control, y'all. eight that we are opening. So that video should be coming very, very soon. But... Yeah, let's just show you what our collection looks like as of now. You thought my office was bad? Hey. <laughs> hey. So before we even go into where all of our shelves for our sodas are, we do have a few stray sodas. Like Crash Bandicoot here is, you know, in our game room. Right underneath the game TV. So, you know, he lives there. And then over with our Marvel and DC uh, Funko Pops, we do have two sodas of the Joker. And I think that's it. I think all of our other sodas Iron are... Man. Oh, Iron Man. Thank you. Iron Man soda is up there too. So the rest of our sodas are on shelves in our media room. So let's go check those out. I forgot I actually have the Ralph soda. He is the common and he is down here with all of the rest of my amazing Ralph collection. Now, if you recall, we did open two three liter Maleficents and we have the first one, which is the common down here in the living room. And then the other three liter uh, soda that we opened up was another Maleficent, which is the Chase with the flames. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm moving her guys. This one stays on Donna's work desk in her office, but that is another soda that we have in our collection. So here is one wall of our media room and all of our sodas are in these black cases on the wall. So they are pretty full, but let's get a closer look. So on the first shelf on top, we have the Alice in Wonderland black light figures. We do have all four of them and they, they do have, uh, we do have them displayed with the cans just because they look so cool. So we have Alice in the Mad Hatter on this side. And then we have the Queen of Hearts and Cheshire Cat on the other side. So we just thought they looked really cool with the cans. Um, so they are on top of the shelves. All right, so our first case here, you can see is really all of our, Di most of our Disney figures, they do overflow, but we do kind of keep all of them together, like all the villains together. Um, so just for reference, uh, Prince John is the chase. Yizma is the chase, Chernabog and Oogie Boogie back there are the chase. Um, I'm trying to point out the chases specifically. Um, uh, Goofy is the chase. Donald this Donald. Duck. The other three Caballeros, his hat kind of makes them fall over. <laughs> um, Clarabelle Cow is the chase. We do have the Vampire Mickey Black and White is the chase. The colored one in the back is the common. And then this Sorcerer Mickey is the chase. But as you can see, like, they are staggered. So we have, you know, one front, one back. And it's getting pretty squished on this side. So just so you can see it overall, we have a lot of characters and not a lot of room. So for the second uh, case, uh, second shelf, we do have a lot of our movie in like cartoon type characters. And I don't think many of these are chases. Um, King Kong, he is a flocked chase. And let's see, I love that Beetlejuice. I want his chase so bad. I don't see any more chases specifically, but let's keep going here. Um, Yogi Bear is a chase. And Rocket. Oh, that's right, Rocket. In the corner, he's a flocked chase. And I think those are all the chases for this case. But yeah, like if you look at both of these, like they are just completely st stuffed. Uh, yeah, we need more shelves for sure. So once again, we have run out of room. So on top of case number three, 
we have some overflow. So we have the Blacklight Oogie Boogie, the Blacklight Mayor, uh, the G Gizmo, the Gremlin, um, what's his name? Oh, the dentist. Yeah, and then we have Popeye, one of our spare Maleficents. We have three comments, <laughs> I think. And then um, Gomez Adams as well. So none of those are chases, but this is this is an overflow. <laughs> so they kind of live on top of the case. So this shelf has a lot of our ad icons, cartoony type ones. So of course this chocolate Frankenberry is the chase. Um, what's yummy, it? Mummy. yummy mummy is the chase. Yep. And let's keep going here. Oh, of course the golden Twinkie. I like that one. Is the chase. Um, let's see here. He. Was he, is he, he's flocked. I don't know if that's the common or the chase, though. I can't recall. But he's flocked. And none of our Freddy Funkos are chases. Those are all commons. So, but yeah, just a really mix of fun characters in this case. But again, staggered. They are stuffed in there. Poor guys. <laughs> so the last case has a lot of TV cartoons and then Disney Overflow. <laughs> So again, I'm gonna try to point out the cases or the, the chases because I think that's really fun to point out. Um, not sure how many. Oh, um, Jab Jabberwocky. Jabber, no, not Jabberwocky. Jabber. Jabberjaw. Jabberjaw. Jabber He's metallic chase. I think the kiss guy is one of those. Is the chase one of them glows in the dark? Um, and then our Disney <laughs> overflow. Um, there's an Edna Mode chase. Oh, yes, we have both Edna Modes. The one, uh, cheesing, I think, is chase. chase or yeah. is, one of those is the chases. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, those are all commons. I, oh, every time I, I record these videos, I always look back and think, oh, I didn't say that one was a chase, but just so you can see our collection, again, this is our fourth and final actual display case. They are staggered and they are completely stuffed in there. So, I mean, in reality, we're probably going to get another case for under here and then another case to go on the bottom over here. And then after that, um, we're going to need to figure something else out because there's not much more wall space where, you know, it won't be in the way. But yeah, all four of our cases are completely stuffed. We have stuff on top of each of the cases. So... We need more shelves, and we're about to do so to Palooza at 12, and this is why we need more shelves. <laughs> so I'm very happy with our collection. I think we have some great sodas that we've been able to get since sodas started. Like, we started collecting when they first released. Yeah. So we have a lot of really older ones um, now, but... Got some that are worth a lot of money. Yes, surprisingly. <laughs> but we are about to do so to Palooza at 12 and add eight more sodas to our collection. So... What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna buy new shelves. We're gonna buy some more shelves. We're gonna have to. Like, there's, we have no choice. But leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about our collection. If you have any of the same sodas, let us know. Um, Can you think tuned. of a way to display them different than that baseball bat display case that we're currently using? Yeah, we can. We can have just a regular shelf and put them on a shelf. It'll be the same, same. It'll be same, same. Same, same. <laughs> It'll be same, same, y'all. Let us know what you guys think about our collection, and if you have any of the same sodas, let us know that. Um, and if you have, um, yeah, if you have any recommendations on how we can, how do you display yours if you collect yeah. sodas? How do, yeah, I mean, we need more shelves. <laughs> That's the <laughs> bottom line. But stay tuned for Soda Plus 12. It will be coming probably our next video, so stay tuned for that. But we will see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.